So we are going to go ice skating. Ezra actually has a little church group. So this week they're going ice skating. And of course with Ezra, um, Marie usually goes and helps him in his group, kind of uh, not run away. <laughs> Marie doesn't know how to ice skate and Ezra certainly doesn't know how to ice skate. I don't know if we can teach Ezra to ice skate. We'll have to uh, see how this goes. Now, we've taken Ezra on some pretty crazy adventures as we've gone across to visit all the national parks in the U.S. Next week, make sure and check out our adventure. We're going to share our experience at Rocky Mountain National Park where we actually got into a little more snow and ice than we had bargained for. But, all that being said, I'm still a little nervous about how Ezra's gonna do with this ice skating. We'll see how this goes. Are you excited to go ice skating? I I'm a little nervous about putting these blades on you. I got one blade on. This place is pretty noisy and Ezra blocks some of the noise with his hands. So you ready to ice skate? Nope. <laughs> You're ready to go, huh? Ezra needs to be held up, but everyone can see the pure joy he feels as he falls quite a bit, but is happy to get right back up again. Even while he's falling down, he keeps a smile on his face. We borrow a blue walker for a bit to see if that helps Ezra out in getting more independence on the ice. It helps a little, but it's probably just easier to hold his hand, we decide. Marie comes and grabs the camera so I can keep both hands on Ezra. Yeah. I feel like I'm better at going backwards than going forwards. So Ezra is loud and others notice him. Some stare, maybe they've never met anyone like Ezra before. I know that years ago the cultural expectation would be to keep someone like Ezra home and away from the public, but I think about what Ezra would miss out on and think about what others would miss out on as well. Look at Ezra. He's so happy 
the entire time. When he's falling, he's laughing, he's learning, he's improving, his ice skating skills are getting better. Um, he's a great example of not letting a diagnosis define his destiny. So make sure and put in the comments something that you've been afraid to do, but went ahead and did it anyway. It's time for a little break. As Ezra takes off, we're wondering, what is he going for? I noticed him eyeing something over there every time we would pass as we were skating. And finally, I realize what it is. The label, he always gets the water bottle label, Dasani. It is a giant Dasani label. Ezra loves Dasani labels as we were hiking to all the national parks, we would often have the Sony water bottles and he would always want us to tear off the, the label and let him carry it. And he would collect these Dasani water labels. So he's just thinking, man, there's a whole side of a, a huge thing with my Dasani water label. I want that. He just wants to go for it. He wants to go right back out. That wasn't a very long breeze. As always, remember, if you have an autistic child, you're in good company. And then we make some new friends who are very excited about the possibility about being on a YouTube video and are bugging us to get some screen time. <laughs> takes the camera for a bit and proves how tough she really is as she knocks the wind out of herself but keeps on going. This is really fun. I don't know if you can hear me right now, but... Say that was a big, big success. Ezra loved ice skating. 
at first we were pretty much dragging him along, but uh, very quickly he uh, started to do more and more of it himself, and by the end there he was only falling every now and then, so that was pretty impressive. Good job, Ezra, huh? Check out our autism playlist where we share all the exciting things that happened as we traveled in an RV to visit all the national parks with a family of seven.